Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to explain macros in um, in ZBrush. So what macros are is they're actions that you've recorded that you want ZBrush to play and act out for you, so you don't have to do it over and over again. You just record yourself once, and then you can just click a button, and it does that same action whenever you want it to. So if we go over to the macro menu here, we can see a couple of preset ones that ZBrush comes with, but um, they they're not really useful in my eyes they don't do anything and if I press them they won't do anything so you just does weird stuff like that so if you use macros I suggest making your own so let's go ahead and make our own let's press new macro here and now we're recording so let's go on over here and sphere 3d and I'm gonna let you guys know that um if you're just you know over the screen and you're not clicking anything it won't record it just records the things that you actually click and that's nice so it doesn't look like you took your time or it takes too long anything you can just get right into it so just drag it out here. Press T to go into edit mode. Make poly mesh 3D. Let's press F to frame it here. Let's uh, move it and hold Shift to go into front view. Press X to have um, X symmetry on. And uh, that's all we need. That's all I would want when I started it up. So let's go into macro and macro. And I'm going to start it over here, rapid start, since that makes sense. And let's just call it um, sphere. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Sphere startup. Save it. Now if you go into macro here, we can see we have it right here under rapid start. So if we press T and to get out of edit mode and control N to clear the canvas, go into macro here, select it, and uh, plays it out for us. And now that's it. See, now we have our sphere here. And uh, we can do we can just start sculpting if we wanted to. Do whatever we wanted. Well, I'm gonna show you guys one more, just so you guys can you know get used to it. So I'll just clear the canvas here. So um, macro, new macro. Let's say I want terrain, so I can start a terrain easily. Just bring that out. Bring it here. T to go into edit mode. Let's go into front view here. F. X. Well, I I wouldn't want X symmetry since terrain wouldn't be symmetrical. And let's say I want my draw size to be, uh, let's say 200 here, and I want the brush to be move. So let's go ahead and end the macro here. Start a rapid start on um, terrain start. Start up. Save. T control N macro. Tr uh, oops. Press. If you want to stop a macro, just press Escape. Control. Uh, let me get out of this here. So let's load our terrain startup here, and it'll do it for us. And you see we've got the move brush, and our brush is up to size twenty uh, two hundred. And uh, I didn't make it a poly mesh three D, but you guys get the picture. And uh, that's all there is to making uh, macros. And it's uh, I don't really take use of it, but um, once I get more uh, more models and I see more of the style that I like, I'll probably start making some macros. So that's it for this tutorial and uh, be sure to watch future ZBrush and Blender tutorials and thank you guys for watching this one. Alright guys, thanks.